All right, gang, Coach Chris here, and I wanted to show you guys how to do your interval workouts <clears throat> using a Garmin bike computer or wristwatch. So if you want to use a cycling app to maybe uh, watch, ride a course or watch a movie and just not have a cycling app running, um, you don't actually need a computer, you don't need a tablet, you can just have your Garmin connect to your smart trainer and control the resistance and do the interval workouts where it'll give you this nice screen where it shows you where your power target is, where you want to be, and it'll control the resistance. You can even do course rides. You can do other things just with the Garmin computer as well. But I'm just going to talk about the interval workouts today. So how do you do this? Um, you need a Garmin bike computer that is uh, more recent so the 520, 530, any of the 20 or 30 series, the 820s, the, the 1030s, any of the ones that can connect to Bluetooth sensors, um, and even the, the 520s that don't connect to Bluetooth sensors but can do the Ant Plus. So how do you set this up? So I'm going to demo. This is the 530, um, but I also have here the 520. So I'm going to demo how to set up the trainer. So on your main home screen of your Garmin, on the edge, you're going to hit down to bring up the menu, then scroll to the bottom of the list, go to settings. Here you're going to go to sensors, and then you're going to do add a sensor. You're going to scroll down to indoor trainer, and then it will search for your trainer. Hopefully it should find it. And then you have to hit the, or you can select it if there's multiple trainers, and then hit the upper right button to add the sensor, and then it's connected. Um, if you have multiple trainers, you might get a warning like this. I have two trainers here, so I'm going to hit cancel. Now, once that trainer is connected, if you have your Garmin account and your Training Peaks account synced up properly, you should be able to um, start riding or uh, if, if you do an indoor mode, or go down to the menu, go to training, and then from here you scroll down to workouts, and then your workouts should appear here. Then you can scroll down, you can select the workout, you can even preview the workout if you want, so you can kind of see what the steps are, what's coming up, and then you can just do do workout and then it'll load the, <clears throat> the actual workout up. So on the 520, it'll show you what range you need to be in, what step you're in. You can customize some of the data fields. On the 520, uh, or sorry, 530, it's a little bit different. Um, it'll actually show you the whole inter interval bar graph of your workout. Um, you can also customize data fields. What I like to do is I like to make a screen where I can see the whole interval workout in a little tiny box. It'll, I can also have it show me what power target number I need to hit so I know what to shoot for. Um, anytime I'm doing interval workouts, I like to know how much time I have left on, on the interval or the whole workout. The cadence, um, so if I have a cadence goal for a certain interval, I want to be able to hit that. I also like to look at my heart rate in beats per minute and percentage of max heart rate because that gives me the relative scale. You know, if I'm going at my threshold, I want to know if I'm at 90% of my max heart rate. And this also helps me learn what heart rate number is my 90%, what heart rate number is my 80%. You know, am I getting my heart rate below 60% for recoveries? Um, so this teaches you the correlation between heart rate and max heart rate. Same thing for power. Um, for power, I like to see the actual power number and the percentage of my FTP. Um, I like to use the three second average power number just because if you have a power meter that bounces around a lot in the power number um, with one second intervals, the three second uh, average makes it look a little bit smoother and easier to follow. Um, I also like to look at my lap power. So if I'm doing an interval or an FTP effort, I want to see if I'm averaging my target number for that interval. Um, so if I'm doing a VO2 max interval, I want to hit 120%. I might know a target number I'm shooting for. I want to see if I'm actually averaging that goal target number in the lap that I'm doing. So I can take my own lap splits or for each interval. Um, I also like to have max power up because in the beginning of a workout, 
Sometimes I'll do a max power sprint um, just to get the uh, accuracy of the power meter dialed in. Sometimes you have to do a couple hard sprints, especially if you have pedals, um, to make sure that the strain gauges and the power meters are um, really dialed in and, and more accurate. So that doing a couple little sprints, <coughs> 200% effort, something like that, just for a couple seconds, um, helps dial in the accuracy of that. Um, so play around with that. You can actually, while you're doing the workout too, you can even go into the menu and play around. So there's, uh, you can change the trainer mode. Normally you do it off of set target power because you're shooting for a target power number. But if you want to do it in like a free ride mode or course mode, you could set the gradient, set it to like a 1% grade and do the whole workout where you're just shifting your own gears. Um, or if you want to change the resistance, you can actually change the resistance manually using your, your Garmin bike computer. Um, and going back here for a second, so here you see the grade mode, this is at 1%. But normally I'll do the, the set target power number, and then it'll depend on obviously if I'm in an interval or not. Um, so you can play around with that. Um, you can find a course, if you want to load a course file, you can have it try to replicate that. It's not a great option. Um, Garmin doesn't have a lot of features with that course mode. Um, it's better to do on a virtual cycling platform if you're doing a course ride. Um, you can also pause the interval step. You can go to the backwards a step. You can go to the next step. You can also on the 530, you can even go in and see the step notes. So here you can see the coaching instructions from Training Peaks actually on your Garmin bike computer. I don't think the 520 does this, but the 30 series ones have that. Um, so again, you just hit the upper right to get to the menu anytime, even during during the workout. And you can go up here and, and control all of those aspects. You can stop the workout if you want to. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different options you can use. Now, if you have not synced Training Peaks with Garmin to get the workouts synced from Training Peaks into your Garmin account, um, you need to set that up. The nice thing with the 530 is it connects to Wi-Fi, so without even using your phone, you can, once you have it set up, it'll automatically download the workouts. With the 520, I think you have to make sure the Bluetooth is enabled to connect to your phone because it'll get the workouts from your phone. But either way, the first thing you need to do, um, if you've never done this before, um, go to trainingpeaks.com backslash Garmin. You don't need to type in the partners just go to trainingpeaks.com backslash Garmin. It'll direct you to this page. And it talks about all the integration and everything that, of how it all works. Um, this is on the Training Peaks website. Um, so it shows you a nice graphic of your computer workouts going into your Garmin computer. Um, and all you need to do is link the accounts. So you click that button, you put your password in for your uh, Garmin, your Training Peaks account and your Garmin account. It links them and then going forward, it'll automatically do it all in the background. You don't need to do anything manually. And then your workouts should show up on your Garmin. Um, another thing too, that's a little bit newer for some of you who did set up your Garmin sync uh, in the past. Um, actually, this is good to mention too. If you have a newer Forerunner like the 945 or I think the 745 as well, you can control your smart trainer from your wristwatch, not just your bike computer. Um, but what I was going to mention is you can also link your Garmin health data. So if you have a weight scale, whether it's the Garmin one or a different one, anything that is updating your weight into your Garmin account, you can link that to, and that's separate from the main Garmin sync of workout data. You can have it sync your weight into your Training Peaks account. So this is nice for me in the morning. I can just go step on my weight scale automatically loads the data into Garmin, Garmin syncs it to Training Peaks, and I don't have to manually track weight at all. So this is a really nice feature as well. So this link is separate from the other one. So you just have to go up, <laughs> make sure that you have um, done the first linking of your main Garmin account to Training Peaks, and then you should be able to uh, go down and link your health data separately. I think if you want to double check to it, if you if you have everything set up properly or not, just go to connect.garmin.com, um, the main Garmin Connect website. You don't you won't see this in the app on the phone, so you do have to go onto the website of Garmin. Um, and when you load up the Garmin website, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the in the top for your uh, I think it's under your account here. I'm just going to double check. And I believe it's under account settings. Um, 
and it'll show you a list of things that you have synchronized um, uh, to your account. So let's see, I'm gonna double check here. I always forget exactly where this is. Um, I think it's under account information. Yep, so you can scroll down here. So again, click on the top right for your account. So you're gonna go to account settings. And then once you're in account settings, you're gonna click on, they've changed this over the years, but account information. Once you click on account information, then you're gonna scroll down and you should see if you've set your Garmin account up, you'll see this training peaks and it'll have the option for connecting your activities and your training data with training peaks. And you just wanna make sure that's turned on. So double check that if you're having trouble. All right, good luck.